Hi friends, I'm Tammy Kay. Welcome to my channel. Today I am doing something a little different. I am painting with my eight-year-old daughter and we decided to take a reference photo of the ocean, palm trees, and we made our own versions. I painted in the style of Matisse and she... <laughs> and I go, mm. oopsie. And, and she painted in a more traditional style. So we have a lot of fun. We do some art chat. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So before my daughter and I start with our painting, and this is the reference photo that we're using. This is just a painting we found online, and we're really excited to just try to play around with that and see what we can do for our versions. But I want to show you the brushes I'm using today. I also have meat and paint. I've got, this is Mei Liang. I'll have everything linked in the video. Um, this one is Paul Rubens that my daughter is using, and this is from Meaden as well. These are Christy Rice brushes, um, a filbert brush and a number six round. So here are some of the shapes that you can make. Uh, I'm just going to grab some paint here. I'll grab some over here. So you can do like, for example, little dashes. Dashes, you know, like heavy pressure, light pressure, right? So these are the horizontal ones. Um, do you want to practice on here too? You can. So like I'm going to go and press harder and then really hard. Yeah. Sometimes you need more water. And then um, we can also do like some little dots, which this is, yeah, this is a filbert. So it's not going to give me like these round dots. But the idea is that we're using lines. So you can do vertical lines. You can do horizontal lines. You can make them really thick. And the idea is just to create, you know, this texture and layering. And you can do really thick paint as well as really thin paint. So the idea is, yeah, just to build up these different textures. Let's try a different color. Let's try a different brush as well. So I've got my number six round. It's pointed. It's going to do a lot of other things for us. So, can I use my same one? Yeah, you can use whichever one you want. So we can do some lines like that. And we can do some coming up this way, like for grasses. We can do some lines this way too some thicker ones, right? And so the idea is just to play and have fun and kind of figure out, you know, you can press the brush to create these brush strokes here and just vary it up so that you're having a lot of fun and you're not worrying about realism. We're just playing here. So let's get to our painting. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's and I go. also made a giant um, circle. Okay. You can make giant circles. With yes. Like you're like... If you're making like a sunset, you can, when you're making it, um, the sun, you can make a giant circle. So you can basically do any shapes you want, right? Yep. Okay, let's get to it. So what are we going to start with? All right, so Surface. you can start with whatever you want. I like to start with the horizon line. I'm going to grab my blue and we've got a nice like cobalt blue here. And so we're going to try that. Mark out that horizon. What are you going to start with? Well, Just little brush strokes here. I'm gonna make mine right here. It's kind of wobbly. Yeah. And we're just gonna take different colors. <clears throat> so I've got a nice cobalt blue, got a dark blue, and I'm out. just going to start adding in lines. And I know there's a bit of green here and then the sand. So I'm trying to leave space for that. And we're working, you know, pretty opaque which means like really dark paint, you know, not a lot of water. And just adding in those lines, you can change it up to a different color of blue. That one looked about the same. <laughs> That's okay. So we can even do like, like larger, you know, streaks. And the idea is just to play. Careful, I don't touch it. Oh no, it's mixing. Yeah, it might mix you if you wait for it to dry, then it won't mix. But, you know, you just do the best that you can. So the idea is just to play and have fun. And so we have these crazy lines. They could be just like this, wavy lines. You're just blocking out the space. And you're giving the impression, right? The idea of something, of the ocean. Now, if we were trying to do a realistic painting, we might be very nervous about that. Like, how's that going to go? And, but because we are not worrying about that, we're just 
wanting to, when we step back and look at our painting, we're gonna see, okay, you know, that's the ocean, that's a palm tree, that's grass, and it's just fun to play. And remember, if you're feeling nervous at all, what do you need to do? You need to <sighs> Take a deep breath, exactly. I and do. remind yourself what? This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. keep for okay, you've never told me this. Maybe before. I haven't told you that. I but we you, do try to practice deep breathing. You probably have, but I just don't remember. When people are upset, we try to deep breathe, right? Just yeah. to calm down and get back to a good space. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my water like that. How's it going for you? It's doing good. Good. So I think I might need a little more water. Well, this part has a lot of water, but mm -hmm. this part was just starting to Oh, I, I like that bright color though. It's yeah. nice. So for the sunset, you know, there's a lot of things happening. I think I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'll probably do the same horizontal streaks right here. Some orange, I can change it up. There's a place where there's a sun, just a circle. So I think I'm going to leave a circle kind of white there. Oh, yeah. To imply that the sun is there. I'll start making that part because it's yeah. coming up soon in my picture. And then you can just interchange, you know, some red, okay, red so strokes. Mm -hmm. And you're working on a solid color, and I'm just going to do the lines. And we'll just have two different yeah. looks So for your painting. I'm trying to make that sun. It's going to, like, it's kind of covered with the clouds a lot. Mm-hmm. And I don't really know the color for it because it kind of looks like it's almost white. Yeah. Because it's so bright. Yeah, I don't know that's true. Because we're we're following like a like a a reference, right? Yeah, reference yeah. photo. And I don't know what people the people that painted that used for mm -hmm. the sun. Cause like, did they use? Oh, okay. I think I know what they did. I think they just left left the white spot on their paper because you can't really use white on white paper so and it's probably different than like the watercolor that we're using yeah. and so i'm going to do my palm tree now so i'm just doing these lines and these are these diagonal lines that are just going to start coming down like this and who doesn't like a good palm tree um, i love palm trees do you I love palm do. trees yeah yeah. I remember last time when you made a palm tree, um, I, I saw you making it, and then yeah. I was like, oh my goodness, that is like a lot of things you have to add to it. <laughs> so this one's pretty quick. You know, I just yeah. added the fronds on one side only, and then I'm adding them on the other sides, just to round them out and, you know, make them fluffy. And then I'm going to grab some of my brown here. And I'm, I'm just gonna do these little brush strokes like this, little dashes for my palm tree. What Since I'm, we're going okay. with that style, yeah. Go ahead. Um, so what I'm doing is like, I'm using red, then orange mm -hmm. and red and orange. It's just on like this side right here, there's a lot of red and like not much orange. Mm -hmm. I might have to add like a little bit of yellow to the orange so it, so it gets a little li lighter. Sure. So, yeah. Well, and I'm going to just do, let's see, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I, I, I'm really into these dots and like the dashes, these horizontal yeah. ones. So I'm still keeping it that way, but then the grass is gonna be a little different. So I've got, I've got that over oh, there. I did not see that grass. <laughs> I know. So I'm just like adding in, blocking in the color and I've got this cool like, um, what is it called? Yellow ochre color that it's kind of, it's got this little bit of a brown in the yellow to just make it darker. Oh yeah, I have that right. color. Yeah, it's a nice one for this. So I'm going to pause on that one and I'm going to go with my number six just to start doing the grasses again. And we're just going to keep working from there. So yeah, we've got some lemon yellow adding to the grass to make it really, you know, just bright. So yeah. these we're doing now the vertical strokes. And you know, obviously grass is, you know, made with these little vertical brush strokes, so that makes it easy. Here's the hard part for me. What's I that? I need to decide what color mm. I want for the 
for the um the water yeah okay I was looking for that word started by very tall grass yeah tall grass but it's not that tall but it's taller than I would make the grass mm -hmm. usually because in the reference photo it's not very tall I mean it hardly even shows any like not as much yeah so we are adding this in and I'm gonna go and put in probably some darker marks over this. I've left a lot of white space in mine. And I know you're not doing as much white space, you're just doing more solid colors, which is fine. So the idea is to interpret interpret a photo however you want. And so I, mine is more like Matisse and hers is more of a traditional painting and it's great. And so just you know playing around with that color and the brush strokes, the type of brush strokes is always really fun. So I've got a lot of the same types of marks here, but you can go, you know, vertical, horizontal. Just have fun, right? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yes. Okay, that's the whole point. That's good. So I'm having fun too. I don't really know how to do this because there's a part here and there's mm -hmm. a grass here. So this is the grass part and here's a water part. But if you come across here, it's like the water's in the grass. So... I might need a little help on that. Yeah, so you can just do some blue here and then just kind of keep it going uh, this way. And then the rest of this could oops. be grass or like the sand. I am adding in this blue here. Oops. I need a little help because this one, I put the grass here. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. You just work with just it. Put it down. Try to cover over here. I just kind of wonder how some of these famous people, you know, learned, the, uh, invented really these styles, you know, how they came up with them and they decided this was how they wanted to paint. It's just interesting. There's so many out there, aren't there? Yes. And then there's some that we like more than others and we just get drawn to different styles and it's just fun to try them out and, you know, try to make them our own. So my favorite, my favorite, like the person that whoever invented the, the dots, you know, like you just dot, dot, dot. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Um, her name, his, yeah, his name is Sarah. I almost said her, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's your favorite painter. Yeah. What's your favorite one? Well, I, I really like Matisse and that's why we're, I'm trying out his style today because it's just really fun. And I know his style wasn't always like this, but, you know, he had different things that he liked to try. And I like to try new things. My landscapes are never like this. And I don't know, it just makes me happy seeing all these dots. And then you step, step back and you look at it and you find, hey, this, you know, I know what this is. You know, it comes together. So we were just talking and thinking about how, if you have a favorite artist, we'd love to hear about it. So comment below and let us know who your favorite artist is and why. I'm really curious to see what people are going to say. What do you think people are going to say? I don't know. Maybe yeah. some people want... What's his name again? My Sarah? Favorite. Okay, Sarah. Yeah. With the dots, the little dots. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. I like that guy because he he just made little dots and, and like there are tiny little dots everywhere. Yeah. And just like little tiny delicate dots everywhere. And right. I like that. How much work would that have taken? That's um, a lot. Yeah. I'm impressed by that. I don't I think I have the patience. I remember I saw his artwork once. Mm -hmm. And I saw it. It was a very big picture. Yeah. A very big canvas. And I was like, oh my goodness. How long did that take him? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to finish up this one here. And. You know, I there's so many different ways that you can do these paintings. So it's really just about expressing yourself and just, you know, like I said, like I always say, having a great time. And I do want to let you guys know, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on 
future videos by me and by my daughter as we paint together some of the time. Um, I do a lot of florals, but I'm wanting to do more landscapes and just branch out and do some birds. And I do want to say too that you should check out my Skillshare courses. They're linked below. There's a link to 30 days free if you ha have never joined Skillshare before. So definitely check them out. As a mental health therapist, I talk about um, in one course how to let go of perfectionism in your art, which is something I think most of us need. And the other one is how to relax and find joy. And all these are through painting florals, loose florals. Finally, guys, I do have an art retreat coming up at the end of October. So you can find that out if you want more information linked below. We'll be painting in Italy and we'll be learning together and finding out how to let go, relax from all that perfectionism and just enjoy in Italy. So I'm so excited. So I'm just adding in some darker marks here. How's yours going? Oh, I like I, them. I like the marks on there. So you added your dashes at the end. Oh, that I didn't even know you were going to yeah, do that. That I, was smart. I finished. I, I didn't really notice like I was doing dashes, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I just like, they're probably going to just dry. Not, I, you probably can't really see that color. And so like. It's just, you're not going to be able to see it probably because this is a light color. I thought you would be able to see it, but mm -hmm. here it's already drying. This color right here, yeah, it's already it. drying and looks exactly like this one. So, was it fun to draw and to paint in this way? Did you like it? Yeah, but you said draw, not paint. Yeah, well, no. you said paint, but you said draw. I know. <laughs> I heard it too, which is why I changed it. Mm -hmm. So... And maybe some of the time we can draw, but we are painting today. We are finishing up our work and let's take off our tape and then we're done. So let us know in the comments below. We've never done this type of video before. Did you like it? Do you want us to paint together in the future? If you have any ideas of what you'd like us to paint, let me know in comments. And remember to subscribe and like and all the fun things. So we're taking off our tapes. We have a lovely, nice little border here. And I really enjoyed this project. I think we should do this more in the future. And like I said, Matisse is one of my favorites. So it's just fun to try something new and relax and enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys, as I help you take off this piece here. We have our final pieces. If you have anybody else in your life that you like to paint with, grab them, do a double tutorial, and enjoy. All right, good job. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed painting this ocean scene in one of these styles and enjoyed hearing us chit chat and enjoy. I hope you have happy painting, happy mental health, and I'll see you soon on the next tutorial.